Good morning, gentlemen. I I'm Ken. I'm the duty doctor today. I know we haven't met before, uh, but I thought we'd take this opportunity just to understand each other's skill set. Uh, and, and the morning huddle, emergency team huddle, seemed about the rest time to do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm an advanced life support provider. Your name is? I'm Colin. I'm a ILS provider for okay. primary care. I'm okay. GM. Fantastic. So uh, if we have a cardiac arrest today, then Colin, would you be okay starting us off with CPR? Of and we'll engage the ward staff to help rotate that. That'd be and Fantastic. Hi. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm a ward manager and ALS provider. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, how do you feel about defibrillation today, Andy? Is that something you feel is sure, within your... Sure, uh, And maybe administering medication as well? No problem at all. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Pat Morris, Dave, I'm a registered nurse and I'm on the wards. Great. And an ILS provider. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, if you could undertake the scribe and yeah. timekeeper sure. role for us, Dave, that would be absolutely yeah. superb. And well, I'm David as well, and I'm an anaesthetic nurse. And okay. I'm an ALS provider. Okay. So I'll refer to you as David, so I don't confuse yeah. the two names in that yeah. case then. And if you could take care of airway for me, yeah. please, that would be absolutely fantastic. So if we do have a cardiac arrest today, what I'd like to happen is that you insert an eye gel without me pro uh, uh, actually asking you I'll to do that. You that. Just time. get on, tell me when it's done and if Good. we have entitled CO2 monitoring, can we have that attached as well? Certainly. Okay, fantastic. Right, okay, well, lovely to meet you chaps and uh, hopefully Billy. we won't see each other again today. Billy, are you okay there? Oh my God, oh Billy. Can I have some help, please? Hi, Yeah, can you put out the cardiac arrest and bring me the uh, drug arrest trolley because I think he's got something in his throat. I can see okay, I'll away. do that right now. Okay then, so... Do you have that paediatric trolley? I need to... Okay, I've made a call out. Lovely. Can I have McGill's and um, a laryngoscope, please? Mm -hmm. I can see something white at the back of his throat. Lovely. Lovely. Go. And can you get a paediatric bag valve mask? Because he's not breathing. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweets out. Where you are, then? So... Sniffing position, let's look at his chest, make sure that we're breathing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't see any signs of life and I'm not sure about pulse. Can you do 15 compressions sure. and I'll do two breaths? 15, 40, 50. One, two. Four cycles, this will be the fifth cycle. It's a minute. Hello. Hi. 13, 14, 15. Hi everyone. Oh hi Teresa. This is um this is Billy. Yeah. Um he's six years of age. Love it, okay. okay. Six years of age, had yep. a circumcision about six, eight hours ago, had okay. a good recovery, mum's out sorting out paperwork. Um he's been eating and drinking. My mum looks like she's giving him a bag of sweets. I found him that he had a sweet at the back of his throat. He right. wasn't showing any signs of life or breathing. I've okay. taken the sweet out with some gills, yep. but then he still wasn't Left showing any signs of life, so we started basic my support. Okay, fantastic. Do you think you've got all that sweet out, Teresa? It looks complete. Okay, okay, well done. Great job. It's still there in the middle. Okay, there. Teresa, do you want to step out there. and then you can, you're in a better position to help Colin out there? Okay, okay. Then. Just let me know when you've got those electrodes on, Andy. Push Okay, yeah, we, okay so we'll, we'll run in manual mode. Can we just pause CPR for a second first? Sure. Thank you. Okay, so I don't have a pulse with that, so we've got a bradycardia that's a PEA, so we'll restart CPR. Do, do we have vascular access in this child? I'll try and get some more in, because I've just taken these cameras. Okay, out. fantastic. Sorry. Okay, well, not to worry. Well, maybe, Andy, you could perhaps uh, have a go at getting vascular access, peripheral vascular access. Uh, if you're really struggling, just let me know, and we'll think about... Um, We'll, we'll think about intraosseous if we can't get that in then. Too. I'll go and get that. Okay, so uh, oh, are we sorted out? Let's just have a quick listen to his yeah, chest while you do that. You can continue. Sorry. Oh, okay. 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 
Okay, well we've got good air entry folks, we've no additional sounds there, so uh, fingers crossed that you've been successful with yeah, removing that important. foreign body there, trees, a good job. That's one minute. Okay. Okay. So, how much adrenaline have I get just drawn off? Uh, adrenaline will be 2.0 mils of one in 10,000. Okay, Fantastic. Well, Thanks very much, well, Dave. Okay. Have you done all the other wet yes, calculations have, there, yeah. Dave? Okay, fantastic. I, I know in. you can run those by me in a minute. Yeah, I was in. in. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Well, how are we doing for time? We have uh, got 30 seconds before the two-minute okay. point. So have you got any marrow from that, Teresa? A spot. Okay, so uh, it might be worth just popping that through a glucometer for me. That would be absolutely okay. fantastic. So two mils of adrenaline going in. Okay. Okay, and can I have a big flush, Andy? Lovely. Flush has gone in. I'll run this through um, a VM machine. That's fantastic. Just let me know what that is, please. That'll be grand. Uh, that's two minutes. minutes. That's two minutes. Okay, yeah. should we just pause CPR for a second? We have got an improvement in rhythm there, and I've got a palpable pulse. Uh, is he making any respiratory effort at all there? He is. He's breathing spontaneously. Breaths for about 20 breaths per minute. Okay. Okay. okay, and how's he doing? Is he, is he looking? Is he awake? Is he with us? Well, Billy. How Billy? You doing? Well, he's got his eyes open, so that's yep. fantastic. Uh, can we just maybe convert that to a, a high flow oxygen mask? But so before you do that, can you? I mean, don't pop the radioscope in fully, don't make it. You can use a light source. Is there any fragments that you can see there? Yeah, no, all seems, trees seem to have got it off. Okay, okay, fantastic. Should we, should we see if we can sit Billy up a little bit when we get the oxygen mask on? Billy, so we're just going to pop a little face mask on. Yeah, you let me know if you feel that that's bothering you at all. That would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, grand. Yeah, that'll do for now, trees, and that's fantastic. Okay, so well done, everybody. So uh, we've got a we've got Ross here, and we've got a good we've got a good heart rate here. So let's just think about things. So airway, Billy is maintaining himself, and I can't hear any additional sounds. Uh, respiratory rate, you said was twenty and getting stronger. Okay, fantastic. Okay, I've listened to his chest. And that's clear. Can we pop an SP? Oh, we have. How's his SPO2 doing? It's rating ninety four. Fantastic. And if we just have a chest. Here looks in the mid one. Would you confer, David? Yep, central. Okay. Okay, so there's no increased effort of breathing right at this moment, and I can't find anything abnormal on respiratory examination there. Okay, so from a circulation point of view, Andy, could you just take over? Could you just measure, just check his pulse again, just confirm what his heart rate is for me? And if you wouldn't mind, Colin, could you just measure his central and distal capillary refill time? Sure. Heart rate is the same as on the monitor, 104, fantastic. 2, 3, 4, 5, and how's that? 3 to 4 seconds. Okay, fantastic. And peripherally? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. One, 2, 3, 4 seconds. That's grand. Okay, so so we, we have got a little bit of delay in perfusion, but that might just be the fact that we're giving him some adrenaline and we've sped his heart up a little bit, so we're not going to give him any fluids right now. Okay, so in terms of circulation, we're okay at the moment. Do we have a paediatric blood pressure cuff, trees, if you know, at the point of size? Yeah. So if you could just get his blood pressure for me, that would be grand. Yeah. Uh, before you go, though, Teresa, had he, had he peed before? Um, yeah, he, 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 he was getting going home. home. Right, okay, he fantastic. A, a okay, so Billy, how are you doing? Well, his eyes are open spontaneously and he's engaging with me. Okay, uh, was glucose was 5.4. Can we measure his core temperature, please, Andy? Sure. Medicant wise, Teresa? Any, 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 anything? No, I assume no not much if he was on no. his way out the door. No, I had a little bit of um, IV glasses and I first got with that. Okay, all. okay. And would you mind just exposing him for me and maybe just having a look at his circumcision just to check that all's well there? No obvious bleeding. Okay, super. Any, any, any abnormal findings? No, and the, um, posture looks normal. Okay, fantastic. Temperature 36.4. Okay, marvellous. So, Teresa, would you do me the kindness of just phoning the consultra, mm, consultant sure. and letting him know that Billy's had this untoward event? Uh, he's clearly not going home. We've just popped in an introsis cannula here. Uh, so if we could get the consultant in to come and perform an urgent review, that would be absolutely fantastic. Have we got a paediatrician in the building? Mm, I think 
think he went home. He okay, right. Okay. In which case, I think we need to think about organising a transfer for urgent paediatric review. I'll go and grab mum as well because she's okay. insisting. Fantastic. Okay, well done, team.